When all your friends were got their degrees and were getting the professional jobs yeah. and you were still trying to figure out business, what was that time like for you when you were maybe a bit uncertain about if you're on the right path? Yeah, I had quite an inferiority complex when I was young because I was hopeless at school in my primary school days. I came 45th out of 47th in the class. So I thought I was just dumb. People would probably say today that I'm a bit dyslectic. You know, I've never been tested, but maybe that was the problem. But then when I finally got a job working in a factory and my friends had gone off to university and I thought I'm never going to be able to pass a degree, I just didn't consider that I had the abilities to do that, and I felt I was a failure. I was working in a factory, just doing process work, and I thought my friends are all going to be successful and I'm going to be a failure. And it was only after the second year of running my business where my accountant said to me, Dick, you've made more money than the Prime Minister of Australia makes. Now, in those days, he was making about $30,000 a year, and I'd made more than that. I, I couldn't believe it. I said to him, well, how come I haven't got any money? <laughs> and he said, well, you've got more stock and you've got debtors, people who owe you money, and he had all these reasons, good explanation. And that's sort of explained to me why I didn't have any money, but I was doing okay.